The guest speaker is a graduate of 1970 of Derby High School. He's a member of the 1969 team. He was also a captain of that team as well as the class president. He went on from Derby to the University of Pennsylvania. And uh, our guest speaker is Glenn Gaetano. Certainly uh, being historical, as Eddie mentioned, uh, and Jack Walsh, who's with me on the Commodore Hall Road Race, is the 200th anniversary of the USS Constitution in Commodore Hall, so I've got to throw that in there. Uh, being historical, uh, you people, you youngsters, are looking at it in 2012, and I go back to 1928, and I actually was playing in 1969, but my uncle Pete was the captain of the 28 Derby team. And I remember in 69, I said, my goodness, that's 41 years ago. And here I am going back to 1969, and that's 43 years ago. And you think it's such ancient history, but it's not because in 40 or 50 years, I know all of you, and I say this youngsters, my two children, Tyler and Emily, get a little upset, but you people, when you're 40 years down the road, you're going to be looking at uh, someone across the table from you and saying, I need a little help. Can you help me out? Can you be there? And you're going to be there. So that's the most important thing that you're going to get out of being on a team, participating, and working together. Sometimes you don't win all your games. It's disappointing. You want to make the playoffs. But if you've given, my dad said, if you give your best effort and walk off the field or cheerleading, then you're satisfied, and that's all you can ask. Uh, so I was with Derby, and just as a youngster, as some of the older people here, I grew up in Derby, and Muzzy, his 62 win, that was the first time I saw Derby play Shelton at the Cole Lafayette Field. Jimmy Donanto growing up watching him, Bill Pucci, uh, Mr. Ahern's uh, Uncle Bob, who was a great running back for Derby. So growing up, uh, going to the Derby-Shelton game and wanting to play for Derby was quite significant and it meant a lot to us. But uh, again, the historical references. Uh, with that, uh, I played for Derby. My uncle, uh, my nephew played on the state championship team in 91. Uh, I live in Shelton now. My son Tyler graduated, played on a, a golf team. My daughter Emily is a senior on the tennis team. But I will say this, I am always for Derby, except when they, uh, in Shelton, you're with, I'm with you all the time, but Derby is with me all the time. And growing up, even today, my mother's in the nursing home. Every Saturday, I'll go see her and say, how did Derby do? So it means a lot to a lot of people, but to you people, uh, just go out there and give a great effort in everything you do in life, okay? Uh, we hired a youngster last year in my office who's a lawyer, and we interviewed him. He went to uh, Notre Dame, West Haven, and then he went to UConn. But in Notre Dame, he was on the hockey team. He made it to the final game against Fairfield Prep. They lost eight to nothing, and he was the goalie. Oh, yes. And I said to him, I said, geez, I said, how was it? He said, well, it was a tough game. He said, we, we made it to the finals. It was a surprise, but they, they really did it to us. And I hired the kid. You know why I hired him? He didn't say anything about his defenseman letting him down. He didn't say, geez, they, were, they let everything in on me. He just said they were better, and it was great. I was on the team. So he participated. He was happy. He went to UConn. He started a club hockey team up there. So... Uh, again, a lesson. You can go and go out and do anything. Uh, don't just be satisfied with where you are. Go after things. You're, you're able to do that. Talking about that, uh, years ago, I thought, I remember this event was a day before Thanksgiving. And when uh, George called me and said, would you give a speech? I said, yeah, I'll, I'll be there. Well, I, then Eddie called me last night. and said, geez, Eddie, it's, I didn't talk to him. He said, for tomorrow. So I'm in my office at 1030 in New Haven this morning. George gives me a call. He goes, we'll see. I said, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. He said, no, it's today. <laughs> so I have these notes scribbled, which only I can read, of course. But uh, I knew what I was going to be chatting about. But I do want to congratulate uh, the players and the cheerleaders. And again, just remember the friendships that you've made. It's very, very important. Uh, give a hard effort in the game and just be satisfied. And I see the cheerleaders at the Shelton basketball game. I saw the Derby people last week. Uh, you're all a very, very important part. Talking about managers, we have two managers on our football team at Derby High School. One of them, Tom Degnan, who's now a very successful businessman in California. 
and he's always supporting Derby. And a couple of years ago, we had a fundraiser for our old coach, Coach DeFlippo. And uh, he said, I, I, did, I did rather well in business. He said, I, I made more than a couple dollars. He said, I, I'd like to send a very big donation, which he, he did. But, but again, just recognize all the people that are part of you. And the last thing that I want to say is thank your parents for all the games that they've been to, all the events that they follow you. Uh, I'd rather miss it. My daughter Emily now has her license, but in Tyler growing up, it was such a treat to meet the other parents and uh, go and just be part of that. And I know when Emily moves on next year, there certainly is going to be a void in my life. I go to all the tennis matches away and home. And, you know, she's on the team. She's not a star. She participates. So just remember that whatever you do in your life, be part of something and be a positive member of it. With that, I will say, have a good one. And to the Shelton cheerleaders, as I remember when we played over at Lafayette Field in 68, the stands are right next to you, and they were chanting, we want the Little Red Dead. And I'll never forget that, just hundreds of voices yelling, we want the Little Red Dead. And, uh, but be kind to us on Thanksgiving. <laughs> well, that is it. And uh, just a, a last reminder, I have a little to the football players and cheerleaders, Bear Bryant, who was the most famous of all American college football coaches, said, you know what? If this game were easy, I would not have enough uniforms to give out on Saturday. So you have made a big effort to play and practice and go out there. I never heard anyone say I want to go to practice. I played eight years high school and college. Not once did I hear a teammate say, oh, let's go to practice. But uh, just, just remember that. You, you've made a big effort and you're here and enjoy it. Thank you very much.